What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. Guys, I just got fired. Shots basically. Fired. I just got fired. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. It's a long story. I've been working here for eight weeks in this company and I got fired. So, yeah. I don't what? know. I don't even know what to say. I actually don't even know what to say right now. Put the camera down then. Put the phone down. Get off of TikTok. You don't know what to say. Don't record anything. Keep shaking your head. Let's break it down straight. She might have- I mean, you were there for eight weeks, bro. I, I had jobs longer in high school. <laughs> eight weeks? It took you eight weeks to get fired? What did you do to get fired in eight weeks? <laughs> that just tells me that you couldn't figure out the job. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Chat, let me know. If you hired somebody and gave them eight weeks and they couldn't figure out the job, wouldn't you fire them too? I mean, that's what I would do. You got eight weeks to figure the job out. You never figured it out. So it's a wrap for you. You were probably just lazy or you couldn't figure it out. Like, I would have fired you too. Nobody, like, we're done doing handouts, honey. Especially if you show up late, you call in sick all the time. Like, bruh, nobody's going for that. Fired from a job that I burned myself out for and my biggest fear was getting fired. I was doing everything to avoid the exact thing that happened because I forgot that it was a transactional relationship. They didn't- Well, you also gotta remember is what you focus on typically happens. I think it's Murphy's Law or something like that. It's like what you obsess over, what you think about typically happens. So if you think about success, success will come to you. If you think about things that are negative, like getting fired, more than likely you're going to get fired, dude. Don't owe me anything beyond my pay. And I agreed to that. Yet somehow I lost sight of that along the way. They didn't say, hey, we guarantee you a job if you become an unrecognizable version of yourself and good sleep and exercise and think about work 24 seven. They didn't promise me a forever if I put work above relationships. I wasn't required to miss out on the moments that matter most in my life to secure a spot at the company. They didn't have to keep me. They never did. I was so mad, like how could they have done this to me after I've done so much for them? But the joke was on me. I thought- I was about to say bro, you're so replaceable. Everybody's replaceable, man that if I gave 110% every single day of my life that they should too, but that just was never a part of the agreement. Are you losing yourself to a job that'll never give you half the amount that you're giving them? Because that sounds like a pretty shitty deal. Here's the deal. I mean, I don't know. I feel like you should work hard. I worked in sales. I worked in corporate sales for a decade. So I kind of, I kind of knew, man, like if you don't perform, you get let go, bro. It's, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a harsh reality. And that's the bottom line. If you don't put up numbers, then you can go ahead and leave. And that's part of the game. And I, th I feel like a lot of other professions don't have that. Like, I don't know, chat, let me know. I feel like if you're, let's say you're a truck driver. I know we have truck drivers that watch. If you're a truck driver and you only drive 20 miles a day and you maybe do one delivery, like, I feel like if somebody's like, yo, we got to let you go. You're not driving enough. Like, I feel like that's justified. It's just like any other company. They're investing in you, in you and in, and an investment insinuates a return. If they're not getting a return out of your labor, then yeah, they're going to let you go. Somebody who's younger, more efficient, more proficient in whatever you're doing. So that's why I want to say, that's why I always say like, if you're not happy with how much you're getting paid, more than likely it's a direct correlation to the value that you bring to the market. So you don't like that you're not getting paid enough? Well, you're probably getting paid pretty fairly, um, to the skill sets that you have. So like these long trawl huckers, long trawl huckers, <laughs> long haul truckers. I think these guys should be getting paid a lot of money because they're doing something that's very difficult. Being on the roads, driving tons of miles, thousands of miles, guys that lay concrete, guys that are plumbers, electricians, they're doing something that requires a certain level of skill to be able to do it. So I think you should get paid more for that. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working, Working with them, 
they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. In my ass, and I was just laid off. These companies do not care about us. They want us to give us a two week notice, but yet can just fire us and ruin our lives on the spot any day that they choose. I have a two year old son, no savings, which is my fault. And at least she knows it. It doesn't fucking matter. So now I have to go Where's back. Where's your husband at? You're supposed to have a man. You're not supposed to be a single mom. It took two to make the baby, it takes two to raise the baby. Put it on a t-shirt. Like on the job hunt. And I have to get a work from home job because I have a two year old that I have to take care of. Can't afford daycare. Rent is $2,500 where I live. Now I gotta find- Rent $2,500? That's more than my mortgage, dude. Find out how to pay off my lease early. Cause there's no way that we could afford to live here. I don't even have a computer. They just locked me out of my computer. You know, I really thought that the culture at my job was was great, the best that it's ever been. And for them to just lay me off, not even based off of performance, because my manager just shouted me out today, saying I'm doing a great job, and then fired me. Let's dive into That's what they can do, bro. <laughs> people, people really just now waking up to what corporate life is, bro. They could fire you just because they don't like you. And the thing is, you want to work from home job? The thing, what I don't get about people from work from home jobs, and, and I've had a work from home job for years before I started doing YouTube full time. It's like, they expect you to be working nine to five. You're trying to take care of a two year old. More than likely, the fact that you taking care of your two year old was more than likely the reason you got let go. It's because they're like, yeah, you're kind of off your computer when we need you. You always use your kid as an excuse. And this is what a lot of people do. They don't realize that. Your kid is your responsibility. It's not the company's responsibility. It's not, doesn't, ain't got nothing to do with the company. This is everything to do with you. And you decided to make a baby with a man that you weren't married to, so therefore you don't have another man to help you raise the baby. So why should the company feel bad for you? You made that decision. That's why it's so hard to feel bad for them. It's like you chose to lay down and make a baby with a man. And now you have to have a work from home job so you can take care of your two-year-old. Isn't that kind of counterintuitive? How can you watch your kid and work at the same time? Duh, honey. They probably let you go because you were trying to watch your kid too much and you weren't working enough. I mean, that that seems like a no-brainer. I mean, chat, am I, am I... Am I out of pocket for that? Is that a bad take of mine? But Cass knew that, like, when I was working from home, that, like, if I'm in my office, I'm working. Leave me alone. It's just like with this stuff. Like, I'm recording. Leave me alone. Of two and a half years, just told me I'm fired. She told me not to come back. I'm leaving. I'm getting my that's stuff. That's not. That's not what. What'd I you said. say then, Becky? What'd I you said say? we can't take shots on our lunch break. Same thing. Same thing. Let's delve deeper into this scenario. <laughs> we can't take shots on our lunch break, <laughs> bro. That's that's pure. Uh, that's got to be. That's that's got to be satire, bro. There's there's no way. There's no way. Two big bags. Big bag. Big bag. Talking about taking shots, man. Night at like 10 o'clock, I got a calendar invite from the COO of my company with just me, oh, it's the a wrap. CEO, and him copied on it. So it's, it's a three person meeting. I have no idea what this is about. You're getting fired. Um, my first suspicion is that I'm getting fired. I don't yes. know, but I haven't had any warnings before about my performance or anything. Doesn't so. Matter. It's just really odd to get a calendar invite out of the blue from the CEO and COO. Yeah, it's a wrap. For the following morning, I'm about to join the Zoom meeting, and I'm going to film. Joining. And it's only 15 minutes long. Hello. Hey, Grace. Hi. How are you guys? Poor girl. She's very nervous. A lot of them talking. Gotcha. Well, honestly, I really enjoyed my time working with you guys. You all have been awesome to work with, I think, the past nine months. Um, yeah, just overall really grateful for this experience and wish you guys the best. Thank you, guys. 
Hey, it, at least she kind of stood, stood, TTD'd it, ten toes down, and was like, you know what? I appreciate the experience. That's what you should do. That's what an adult would do. Guess I'm a full time influencer now. So she's been working <laughs> at this company. <laughs> what what I hate about the the word influencer. Because I don't even consider myself an influencer. It's like, what are you influencing? You guys couldn't influence a cricket to chirp. Like, you know what I mean, dude? Like, what are you influencing, really? Are you influencing other women to quit their job? Are you influencing people that have been laid off? Like, what are you influencing? I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the term. When people ask me what I do, I just tell them I'm a YouTuber. I, I'm a content creator. I don't say, I'm an influencer. Like, what are you, what are you influencing? buddy like like what are you influencing here all right let's jump into the subreddit we have cultural news dropping a banger here male versus female dating and you have no idea what it's like to be me well i'm a man and you have no idea what it's like to be me are you kidding imagine walking around every day knowing that every man you see can just grab you and take advantage of you well imagine having the responsibility of protecting you from men like that how about instead these men just stop being pieces of shit uh yeah that'd be nice and i wouldn't be in danger either and maybe when i approached a girl she wouldn't be creeped out i mean why wouldn't i be creeped out do you even realize how many guys per day just awkwardly come up and talk to me or slide into my DMs? Uh, do you realize how fortunate you are to just have a bunch of guys overtly letting you know they're interested? And of yeah. course they're awkward. They have no idea if you even like them. We're just expected to read your mind. Are you seriously trying to claim that men are the victims? No, I'm saying neither of us are victims. As men, we aren't asking you to feel sorry for us. We're just trying to be understood. We're forced into understanding and respecting women at a very young age. You guys are never taught to do the same for us. You're being such a misogynist right now. I mean, it's so true. I actually, I agree with that take. Like, men, in order to sleep with a woman, you have to understand her. But as far as women, they ain't got to understand a man to sleep with him. Bro, no way. Not at all. Is this the same guy? This is from, is this also from Cultural News? All right, let's see what this guy, let's see what this clip is. Translating woman. Sorry, I fell asleep. Translation is what women say versus what they actually mean. Sorry, I fell asleep. Translation, I feel absolutely zero obligation to communicate with you because you are not a priority to me. Think about the types of girls who have texted you good morning and good night in the past. What do they all have in common? Oh, right, they actually liked you. Something came up. Can we reschedule? Translation, you are not worthy of a good first impression and your time is a joke to me. Remember, single women are rarely, if ever, talking to just one guy. So if you get this text, it's not that something came up as much as her just letting you know that you're either not her top choice or that she sees you as so disposable that she's willing to disrespect the precious time that you set aside for her. A girl who actually cares will give you an honest explanation if a reschedule is necessary. I see us more as friends. Translation, I couldn't care less about seeing you or talking to you ever again, but I'm a girl, so I can't be direct about it, and I wouldn't mind having you around to validate me from time to time. <laughs> Don't ever let yourself get placed in the friend zone. There is zero gain from being there. I'm such a bad texter. Translation, I'm too busy texting people that matter to me. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm such a bad texter. That's that's textbook right there. I'm, so, I'm, just, I'm just never on my phone. And then you check her Instagram. She's posting every single day. <laughs> <laughs> constant like and i remember when you could check like snap scores her snap score is just soaring and you're like really you're not on your phone at all like what are you talking about um this one's also or this one's from cultural news why are women all around the world fighting to get a passport bro huh really all around the world are now fighting for a passport bro a bit on this passport bro situation because a lot of people are upset at me calling me a pick me saying like men only go overseas because they're the bottom of the barrier here that no one wants and they only want women that's easy to control they want a maid they want a servant they want a doormat etc in what world that give you an impression that women overseas are easier to control easier to manipulate that we're not smart to see what a good man is. And for the people that bring in race about this, never once I mentioned race in my video. And men are not only going to Asia, they are going to Africa, they are going to Dominican Republic. True words have never been- I mean, this woman is over here preaching. And that's the bottom line. And that's the bottom line. I don't know, chat. What do you guys think about passport bros? Would you, would you go do it personally? If something went south with Cass and I, I might entertain it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Jump in the Reddit, guys. It's reddit.com slash r slash Levi Nix. Um, but I don't know. I might, I might entertain it. I might entertain it. 
go out there, go to Colombia, Dominican Republic, just to see what the heck is going on, you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm reproving? I'm approving a bunch of these posts on the Reddit, so let's see if I can't go watch them now. Um, it seems like some of these might have been old. I only have one mod on the Reddit right now. Um, what is this? The Muppet Show predicted what most women look like in 2023 back in 1975. <laughs> oh god that is i mean yeah uh so delusional if you if you're for the streets your family wants nothing to do with you what is this wrote my sister after years of not speaking to each other i don't know if it's gonna go well or not i don't know how to feel about it well i mean if she if you're dressed like that and putting clown makeup on your face i don't imagine she wants to have too much of a relationship with you um but it is what it is Toxic masculinity. You don't know what that is. I don't think. Th I don't think there's. Uh, we've already reacted to that. What is this one? Women want submissive men trying to put him. To okay. ah, to be alone. I want to be alone. So what is this? This is from Desex. Let's let's go ahead and check this out, buddy. Ah, to be alone. I want to be alone. Do you ball. make any? Do you do you like to go down on guys? Yes, but I don't. I'm not a super big fan of guys going down on me. Because most of them aren't. Very we love it. We love it. Girls, if you're not going down south on a guy, are you? do you even really want a boyfriend? Like, I knew a girl, well, I'll go around about a way. I know, I know of a girl who says she doesn't do that, and I'm like, good luck getting a boyfriend. Like, every guy expects that. Very good at it. That's right. And, and, that's I, and I don't want to be a showrunner on my nights off. You, you hear that? It's always, it's always men ain't good at this, men. Owned because these guys are out there feeling so fucking confident. <laughs> they I have this one boyfriend in particular that was. You see, you see, you see, they don't want guys in a boy put <laughs> The worst. <laughs> Just the worst. <laughs> the worst <laughs> at having just having sex in fact he went down on me twice during the years we were together and i asked him once i said why don't you ever go down but by the way i don't want you to mm -hmm. um but i'm just wondering why because i feel like most guys i can't get out of my vagina and i'm like you have to oh my goodness love it when a woman tells her bop lore she's a runner she's a track star the voiceover is what got me i can't do it i can't do it um sad but true oh my god bro <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Y'all be putting up some clown stuff on here, bro. Um, hey, it's Christine. Who's this chick? This is from also. Uh, this is from Desex. We'll Grace, welcome back to one. my channel. Today is another reaction video, guys. Like inequality for a long time, and currently do so as well. What do men have that women don't? Basic human rights. Which right do? <laughs> Stupid. Women don't have basic human rights. Women don't have basic human rights. Like, come on, dude. Come on, bro. Come on. It's so wild to me, man. This reminds me of just my good old college days, man. I had lay of the land, and you had Snapchats that actually went away. And like nowadays, you got Snapchat. People can snap save. Like Chris D'Elia went through that whole, you know, controversy. It's just wild to me, bro. The times have just changed so much. I can't imagine being an older dude in the dating market right now. It'd be absolutely brutal. It'd suck. It'd suck cojones, bro. Because women, even the older women now, are entitled. They want more than they're worth. They think that as they get older and they have more experience that they're worth more. When the opposite is true, you get older, your value goes down, boo-boo. You're not worth as, as much as you were. You got 200,000 miles on you now. I wanted you when you was fresh off the lot. But that's the thing. If ladies lowered their standards, I almost biggity bet you they could get a man. Men are easy to please. Chat, let me know if you agree with that. Men are easy to please. We don't really need a lot. Peace and quiet, empty nuts, and a full stomach. That's all we need. We don't need a lot, bro. We really don't. Give us a good dog, like Lokes. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I gave him a uh, pup cup this morning. Have you guys ever heard of a pup cup? Basically, you go to Starbucks and they give you just like a, a little small little cup of whipped cream. And boy, he tore it up, boy. He was loving it. And he had his little shoes on. Since he's an indoor dog, when we take him out for walks, like we make him wear shoes so he doesn't track in mud and all this stuff. And um, and he's got sensitive paws. <laughs> he's got sensitive paws. So he doesn't get to just go out all the time. Because he'll run and he'll like tear his paw up. So he's kind of a silly boy in that regard. Um, but yeah, man, it's just wild to me. That even the older women think that their value's higher now than when they were younger. And it's like, boo-boo. Your value's so much lower now. It's so much lower. Lower, Helen. 
but it's just wild to me that these modern women can't understand this. And then they're like, well, why are men going abroad? Why are men going to different countries? Because we're sick of it. Why would I want to have to go out in the world and conquer things and then come home and conquer you? A lot of these women want to be tamed these days. I don't want to have to tame you. What are you, a freaking wild animal? I don't want to have to deal with that. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki, did you have a good time? He's tired. We had a good uh, morning walk this morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to cop the ebook, Four Pillars of Personality. Peace!